Well, we're kind of a subset of the Food Science Club, and we enter competitions where you're developing new products with different goals. So some of the goals are market trends, some of the goals are incorporating um, specific ingredients. And we just pick a product uh, that, that we're interested in and work to develop it. Eventually, we submit uh, written reports about our products. Um, for some of the competitions, we submit actual samples for the products. And we hope we do well. <laughs> uh, this year, uh, we entered IFT again. Uh, we ended it with Spice and Easy. The concept began as we wanted a marinade that would dissolve in the meat as you cooked it. So we kind of ran with that and we ended up using basically a hard sugar with spices in it as Spice and Easy. And then we form it into, um, well we kind of call them dagger-like, but spikes of some sort, almost like an icicle shaped. And we stick it in the meat and then you cook the meat and it dissolves. And while it cooks it releases the sugar and also the spices. So there's usually like a background sweetness in the meat that you can notice and also the spices you pick up. When we conducted some market research initially, we saw that marinades was really uh, a doing well. There's a lot of people that, you know, working full time and they don't have time to come home and marinate meat for an hour. We thought it would be nicer if it was quicker, it was easier, it was less mess. Um, convenience is always a big driving force for new food products. We wanted no wait time. And it's more effective in flavoring the meat. Because you cook it into the meat so it gets all the way through the meat and you don't have less to clean up too. <laughs> Sabrina, Kevin, and Denise were the team leaders, and then we also have people that contribute, and that includes graduate students and undergraduate students. In food science, there's kind of two divisions. We've got food chemistry and food microbiology. So sometimes we, we split up um, a little bit because those are our expertise areas, but then we ensure that we're overlapping too. And that's one of the great things about it is for the food chemistry people, we learn a lot about food micro that we probably wouldn't learn about. So in the kitchen, I think everybody just does whatever they Which whatever they want, wherever yeah, your right. interest yeah. is. And it's probably the most valuable thing for all of us is to get an idea of what product development is actually about, and it gives us some insight into whether or not we want to go into product development or stick to a more um, specific field in food science. I think it gives you a much more rounded look at the whole product development process and where the food science really fits into that. I mean, that. you take it from an idea yeah. and you get it to a product you can actually hold and use, and then we actually enter it into a competition. And that's really interesting, I think.